Welcome, Thomas fans, here once again to spend some quality time with me and my good friend Stan as we take you on another journey across the Great Northern Railway. Stan, please tell our lovely viewers what we have in store for them today. Well, Nigel, we'll be taking a look at the most famous tank engine in the world, Thomas. Thomas, the number one blue tank engine. Oh, well, actually, Nigel, I think you'll find that when Thomas first arrived on Sodor, he was green. Green? Hmm. Green? I'm speechless. I can't believe well, it. Well, yes, when Thomas first arrived on Sodor from the mainland, he was the smallest engine on the railway. Like the new kid on the block, Stan. He didn't find it easy to fit in, did That's he? That's right, Nigel. Thomas had to prove he could be really useful to Sir Topham Hatt and the other engines. And is that, is that how he became the number one engine? Oh, yes, you're absolutely right, Nigel. Not only was Thomas painted blue, but he was given his famous number one. I couldn't imagine him with any other number, Stan. Please do go on. Well, Thomas had some early running with Gordon, and after mastering the art of shunting, he was given his first opportunity to pull a passenger train. Oh, messed up, didn't he? Well, yes, unfortunately, little Thomas was so excited he raced off before the passenger coaches had been coupled. And then there was that time he pulled a goods train. Oh, yes, those troublesome trucks gave him a tough time pushing poor Thomas forward down that hill. That is why it's so important to listen, Stan. Edward tried to tell Thomas to be careful with those troublesome trucks, but did Thomas listen? Well, no, he didn't. And those troublesome trucks nearly ran him off the rails. Yes, they Always did. listen carefully to advice, Stan. That's what I say. It's the best way to learn. I couldn't agree more, Nigel. I bet the other engines laughed and teased Thomas about that, eh, Stan? Yes, they did indeed. Poor Thomas was so embarrassed. But it was harmless teasing from the other engines, Stan. Nothing nasty. Just some good old engine banter. Yes, but let's not be too hard on Thomas. He soon proved himself when James raced through the shunting yard out of control. Without any hesitation, Thomas raced to the rescue. Can I stop you there, Stan? I thought James was a red engine. Oh, not at first, Nigel, no. James was originally painted black and had old wooden brakes which caught fire. Oh, dear! <laughs> Thomas tried desperately to be coupled to James to slow him down, but it was too late and James crashed into our field. Oh, and that's quite a spectacular crash, Stan. Tell me, what did Thomas do next? Thomas raced to get the breakdown train. Keep going. Well, he was able to pull James to safety. I'm dying to hear more, but the producer's winding us up. Tell me more, tell me more. James was fixed and painted red. Don't stop. And Thomas was rewarded with his own branch line. And we are out of time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Evening all. Hello, Doc. Nice to see you. Oh, no. Not that old fuddy-duddy. Duck liked to talk about the old days when he worked on the Great Western Railway. James thought he was a bit annoying. You know, days like today remind me of summers back on the Great Western Railway. <laughs>